Well, it's an exciting time if you're a John Frusciante fan. Today we're going to be discussing John playing that 62 replica Stratocaster again. Henry, his guitar tech, hauling in a few boxes of guitars from Fender, which might be other prototypes of a 62 Strat replica, and more in today's video. So let's get right on into it. So about eight months ago or so, we saw John Frusciante playing a guitar that we'd never seen him use before. It was essentially the exact same as his 62 Stratocaster. However, the relic wear was clearly different and it definitely was not the same guitar. It was, that that's 100% certainty. It's not the same guitar at all, which a lot of people kind of thought it was just in different lighting. And right away, rumors started to swirl around about this being a future artist series model from Fender, an actual John Frusciante signature Stratocaster. If you guys are familiar with John's history with the Red Hot Chili Peppers and dealings with Fender in the past, he actually was offered a deal with Fender, but he had turned it down. Of course, John Frusciante back then at least, wasn't trying to live in as much of the limelight and didn't really want to do any signature gear at the time. And things might have changed. Now at the show in Phoenix, Arizona, just a few days ago at the time of making this video, we finally get to see this Stratocaster again, and it does appear to be the exact same guitar that we saw John using a few months back. But it does appear to be that John is road testing some sort of new guitar. Now, whether you subscribe to the theory that this could be a possible signature model from Fender, or it's just a replica of a Strat so that he doesn't have to bring it out and abuse it on tour as much anymore, kind of just a guitar that shares the vibe and inspiration of the same guitar that he can just use live and keep his original 62 Strat for in the studio. Whether or not you believe that sort of thing is kind of, you know, I guess up to you and the evidence we're going to be chatting about in this video. Now the really cool shot that we have, and some of these shots were first posted by my friend JF Gear on Instagram, his page will be linked down in the description below. There actually is this really cool shot I'm going to switch to now, which actually shows about what, one, two, three, four, five, six different guitars which look like they're from Fender in San Diego actually, before the Chili Peppers played their show in San Diego. Now. John doesn't really play new strats at all, or new guitars at all for that matter. He sticks to vintage guitars. That's always been his thing. So if he's got boxes of new guitars, and we haven't seen any new strats yet, especially or any new Fenders at least, which these are Fender boxes, it's kind of interesting to think about, okay, well, what's actually going on here? Now, of course, my opinion, my take is, is my uh, YouTube channel after all. What I'm possibly thinking is going on here is that we're seeing different versions of this 62 Strat replica being sent to John from Fender. Now, why would they send him six? Well, they could be road testing different pickups, they could be road testing different neck shapes, even just relic patterns on the body. They could be testing out a variety of different things and showing John, okay, Here's six examples of a replica of your guitar, whether or not they are all the same except for one aspect or they all feature different things where John can take a look at them, play them, and then select, okay, well, on prototype number two here, I really like the relic wear up in the forearm area, but on prototype number five, the neck really feels comfortable and I really like what you guys have done with the relic into the back of that neck, just for pure example's sake. So that's what I'm kind of leaning towards what's going on here because if Fender has sent John a bunch of guitars, I feel like we'd see them on stage. If they're going to the trouble of sending him gear before a show instead of just shipping them to him when he's off touring or something like that instead, it makes more sense that this is kind of a time sensitive thing and a bit of a prototyping aspect going on. And that's what I'm kind of leaning towards is what's going on here at least. So they're sending something for him to take a look at, provide feedback so that then they can keep on with the timeline of producing what hopefully is a signature model because knowing John and the way he treats all of his guitars, he's rough on them, they're workhorses, he does not, he does not at least to me seem to have ever really cared about protecting them or at least any longevity in terms of their wear or anything like that. So why wouldn't he keep on using the 62 Strat? It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me that now all of a sudden he decide on having a guitar that he just would use live to replace that guitar to keep it pristine. It's not a pristine guitar. So that whole theory I personally don't subscribe to. I genuinely think something more is going on here. Now there's also a really great clip of Henry during the sound check playing this 62 reproduction Stratocaster, replica Strat, whatever you want to call it. 
and it's a really great look actually at the relic wear, especially on this guitar. And in the lighting and everything we've seen, especially from this one photo that's actually professionally taken from Neil Schwartz photography, he'll be linked in the description down below as well. The relic wear to me doesn't seem to be that, that stunning, if I'm being honest, which makes me more think that they're rough drafting maybe relic patterns or that's what maybe those six guitars that we saw getting sent to John were. Maybe more relic patterns where the one he's playing live is more for in terms of the actual feel of the guitar, the pickups and everything like that. And maybe that's the differences. And this model maybe was tweaked from the one that we saw him playing last year. This one's maybe tweaked and he maybe said, okay, I need it to be a little bit more brighter on the bridge pickup or I need it to be a little bit more sanded down in the neck just to make it smoother to play. Who knows, right? Just all examples. But now maybe he's gonna road test it again for a few more shows, see what he thinks, and then provide more feedback to Fender from a playing perspective. But those six other guitars that we saw getting delivered to him, maybe those are actual more relic wear. And they just kind of did a very rough draft of the outline. Okay, this is what it's gonna kind of look like. We're obviously gonna put a lot more detail into it and a lot more care in terms of the relic in process. Because if you look at where the floor, or the, sorry, the pick wear is right above the pickups actually, to me, that doesn't look very realistic in terms of the actual gouging that would be there in the wood. It just looks smooth and that the paint's more or less chipped away and stenciled out. Definitely not something that I think looks custom shop level, that's for sure. And I, if they're going to do the Frusciante Strat, I'm leaning towards it being custom shop level, at least something like a team built signature series. That's what I believe we are seeing here. If you look at, for example, the John Cruz, I always use this as an example, but the John Cruz, John Mayer, Black One, Master Built Level Strats, the relic wear on that guitar is just impeccable. It's absolutely crazy. This is not that level. There is no debate. <laughs> the relic wear on this guitar is not that level, but I don't think it's custom shop level as well, which is why I'm kind of proposing the theory that maybe this is more just for pickups, electronics, and just feel and playability of the guitar where those other guitars are more the actual look and they don't really want to, I guess, tease the look of the guitar too much before they probably announce something actually real and the real look of the guitar. So that's why, I, if you guys are into cars at all, for example, if Lamborghini or Ferrari are road testing a mule and version of an upcoming car, they won't just bring the car out in a beautiful Ferrari red or bright green where you can see all the detail. What they'll do is they'll actually paint or wrap the car in a very weird camouflage kind of style, which makes it actually very difficult to tell the body lines and overall shape of the car. And it makes it just more or less, more or less hidden and makes the reveal a little bit more like, okay, when you actually see the car in a launch color, you actually get to tell all the details and see it. Whereas this camouflage really hides everything and you can't 100% tell exactly what's going on in certain areas, especially as it's physically driving along the road. And that might be something as to what we're looking at here. That's the best example I can kind of make up in my mind where, okay, it's stenciled to kind of show the rough vibe and then they're just road testing how it feels and they're not gonna reveal what the, the, car, the guitar actually looks like. That's what I kind of think is going on here, but who knows? Only time will tell. We have no confirmation from Fender at all that this is actually what's going on if this is just some passion project of John's to build kind of his perfect master builder custom shop Stratocaster just for his own personal use. I don't know. I doubt it. I think something cool is coming. You can tell just the way John carries himself, the way he is in interviews and with fans. He's a lot more accepting of the fact that he is a guitar hero. He is someone that a lot of people look up to and idolize, to be honest, as a guitar player and a rock star. I think he's really embraced that role in this third stint with the band. And I think maybe Fender kind of got talking to him and Henry maybe again and just were like, hey, you know, we'd love to work on something with you if you would like. And maybe John was like, you know, that could be cool. That could be cool. And maybe let's talk and see what we can come up with. And that might be what we're looking at. But as soon as I hear anything official or anything like that, of course, I will let you all know on another video. So if you guys made it this far into it and haven't hit subscribe already, please consider doing so. And if you do, hit the bell button as well to be notified when new videos online come out. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it as well. And also leave a comment down below as to your thoughts about what's going on here. What kind of theory do you subscribe to if they do make a John Frusciante signature Stratocaster at some level, would you buy it? Do you have like a price point that you think is asking too much? Like is a master built level 
too crazy and that's just kind of out of touch from Fender if they go that route or is made in Mexico maybe a little too low of a level and you're hoping for something a bit more made in USA spec and quality build wise just let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as I always love reading those and as always guys thank you again so much for watching this video take care and I'll see you soon